Coat of Arms. Corey here from Coat of Arms TV, and once again, we're bringing you another review. This time, we are working with the Olight Balder Mini. The Olight Balder Mini offers 600 lumens of light in not just a light, but also a laser light combo. This is a weapons mounted light with a quick detach release. And it also has a ratcheting device for you to be able to fine tune the position of the light to fit your hand in order to be able to operate the controls. The Balder Mini also offers a selector switch to switch between light, laser only, or light and laser combo at the same time. Run times are going to vary depending on the actual setting you have it set to. If you're obviously running the laser and the light combo, it's gonna diminish much quicker. One thing you'll notice is as the battery begins to diminish, you'll notice that the light intensity will also start to dim down and step down as you see. Highlights pointed out on the Boulder Mini by Olight are it's 600 lumen with 130 meter beam throw. Does it reach out to 130 meters? Absolutely. Could you identify a target at that distance with this light? Uh, that might be a bit questionable, uh, but nonetheless, uh, kudos for them to be able to package the laser light combo uh, in such a sleek little design. We operated in between 20 meters and 40 meters, and you'll see us be able to illuminate targets at both distances, and you'll see what the drop off of light actually is. A lot of the powerful lights, what we've noticed is there's a large washout um, when you come into a room and it just overly washes everything out and you get those hot spots. We didn't really see that in comparison to some of the other lights uh, in the marketplace. Because we're in Canada, we decided to use a CO2 powered uh, replica SIG P320. And the purpose of this is because in Canada, we can't just go to the range and shoot after dark. Um, and we wanted to be able to showcase the light. And because of the time constraints, we couldn't really find the ability to do that in the time that we had. So we thought, what a better way to get out and have some fun to be able to just to do it in the backyard. One, it was convenient. And two, uh, we were able to really showcase its functionality uh, in a safe, and legal uh, environment here in Canada. One of the great things I really enjoyed about it is its compact design. Um, it, it really fits the weapon systems well, regardless of what it is. Doesn't take too much room on the pick rail, um, whether you're mounting it on a pistol or even if you wanted to put it on a, a carbine or a, a sub gun, depending on what it is that you're looking to achieve. What don't I like about it? It's kind of a funny thing because the thing I don't like about it is the same thing I do like about it. So it's a bit of an oxymoron there. So I, I think what it is, is if the battery dies in the field, I can't just swap a battery out quick and be on with my day. I'm forced to have to use the charging device, which is a magnetic charging device that goes to a USB, plug it into my laptop, my computer, or an AC USB adapter. Now, the, the problem with that is, you know, I don't want the gun to go down. It only takes approximately an hour to charge, so that's a really reasonable for the life that you get out of it. However, um, I do like the fact that it, it is capable of being able to charge without having to buy a battery because some of these CR123 batteries are not easy to get your hands on. So I, I really do like that aspect of it and the convenience of being able to plug it into my truck with a USB adapter. The one thing I will note, is the charging device for it is really, really cool. Like the magnetic attachment, this, it's such a fail safe. You can't screw it up. One thing to note is I didn't see it when I was charging it in my truck in the daylight. It's very sunny outside. So I, I was complaining saying, I, it's too bad there's not a light to tell you that it's working or it's charging, not charging, and then to confirm when it's charged. Only to find out when I got out of the daylight and plugged it in uh, when I got home, I did notice that the light is built into the magnetic charger and it shows green when it's not connected and then when you connect it, it turns red and then it will then turn green when it's connected once it's charged. So really great design, tough to see when you're out in the field, um, but again, once I knew it was there, I could look out for it. 
What I did notice about the mechanisms to trigger the light on and off, um, the buttons themselves took a little bit of getting used to. I'm just not as familiar with this system as I'm really more familiar with the Streamlight rocker system where you have that spring-loaded rocker. So for me, it took a little bit of getting used to, but once I got the hang of it, I mean, it worked just fine. Uh, they, once the buttons, you play with them a little bit, they started getting worked in a little bit better. They are a little stiff when we first started using them. Uh, but you know what? No real complaints about that. Uh, not that it was a problem, just that it was different. We didn't get a chance to really play with the laser uh, we would do this if we were going to be out at the range and, and you know shooting live ammunition as opposed to a bb or an airsoft model we would have really tuned in or dialed in the laser specifically However, I really enjoyed utilizing it to try to acquire my my targets. Um, you know, there's a lot of reviews out on this light that that really do a great job in order to showcase to you um, whether it holds zero. So definitely check out some of those ones. What's my favorite thing about the Balder Mini? I'd really have to say it's the quality and the functionality that this little compact package offers at such an affordable price. And when you're talking about Olight, I mean, that's really their hallmark. The quick attach lever for installation is definitely a bonus on this light. Uh, the magnetic charging, uh, no need to detach the light from your weapon system. I mean, here in Canada, I wouldn't recommend that because of the storage laws that we have. However, because of the quick detach, you could just pull it off too in, in, in really just a second. Touching back on the affordability of this light, I mean, right now there's a flash sale going on, so you could really take advantage of that starting today, August 24th at 8 p.m., and it's going to go until August 29th. So I would highly recommend that you go out and take advantage of the sale. You get up to 45% off and at least 20% off site-wide. The minimum advertised price of the Balder Mini in Canada is $175.95 in Canadian dollars. Um, with this flash sale, you can get this for as low as $114.37 for a quality laser light combo that is mind-blowing to me. It comes in three different colors of your choice, including gunmetal gray, which is actually a limited edition. It also comes in desert tan and then black as always. Go in the description below, we have an affiliate link there. During the sale, you can't use our code in order to be able to get 10% off, but once the sale's over and you guys wanna be able to take advantage of 10% off, uh, go and click in the promo code, Code of Arms. That's C-O-D-E-O-F-A-R-M-S. Thanks as always for watching and if you have comments about the Olight product, this particular one or any other of the products, be sure to let us know what you think in the comments below. And as always, subscribe to Coat of Arms TV. And so you don't miss out, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to us on YouTube.com. This is Coat of Arms.